Listen. 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 Fungal infections. 300 million people of all ages suffer from serious fungal infections every year, resulting in over 1.35 million deaths. That's the same number of people dying as TB, and many more than malaria. Just, I've never heard of it before, so it's aspergillosis. The only thing I'd heard about it was getting in the esophagus, so esophageal aspergillosis, and that's only because we used to report it at work. I, I don't associate them with the eyes until I actually got the problem. And I thought, oh, what's going on here now? You know, if I got a funnel infection in my eye, what's it going to do? What kind of damage has it done? Gaffey is the only international foundation set up to combat fungal infections and to raise awareness. Yeah, I knew nothing about fungal um, conditions until I had one. I assume, you know, you just think people have an eye infection, they go to the doctors, they sort it out. Because people don't realise it, so antibiotics make you better. It's not a bacterial infection, it's fungal infection, so you need antifungals as opposed to antibiotics. Countless fungal deaths all over the world are avoidable. Three and a half thousand people are dying every day because they don't have access to diagnostics and antifungal medicines. The medicines, uh, if the medicines out there, I don't understand why you, you just can't won't can't get it. I, I just don't understand why they won't give it out. It, it just doesn't make sense not to get those drugs out there, and if, if they can control it quickly, um, they can get away from that. But that wouldn't be the same if you were in a different country under a different um, health system. In lots of ways, I've been very lucky. I mean, the one I had, I, I think you actually can be quite lucky to actually have your eye at the end of it. Any efforts that are made to encourage the understanding and the um, treatment of fungal infections, we definitely need to, to go as far as we can with that. What's happened to me, I, don't, I wouldn't wish that on anybody else. A lot of the diseases are really easily curable. So only a little bit of money would help so much because there's just not the money going into it that there are another disease. My life insurance won't cover me because it's not, um, it's not when they're listed diseases. So despite the fact it is a critical illness, they won't cover it because they didn't have it covered on the list. So, so just because they were unaware of it, it doesn't count for, as a critical disease? No. But it's as serious, God forbid, as if you as anything. cancer? Yes, it is. Because people are actually dying of this, you know, it's, it's actually a killer, isn't it, dying? I mean, even the thought of dying of this, you know, something you've never heard of and you're going to die of it, it's, nah, it's, not, it's not a good thing at all. To, have a, to be informed, to have a sense of how much it is out there, how many people do suffer and how easily treatable these, these things are, I think that just being informed will, and it will move people, I think, to contribute and support it. Gaffey aspires to everyone having access to fungal diagnostics and expertise in each and every country. We believe everyone should have access to antifungal treatments. Now.